What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to the Pangy Dome, where we have a very special guest with us today. It is Neil VGC. How you doing, buddy? Great. I'm about to win $25. That's what you said. You know what? Honestly, I kind of hope you are, because we're getting to the point where it kind of looks scripted. I played five Pangy Domes, and I'm 10-0 in games. All right, all right. Yeah, I'm getting all the luck. Don't worry. All right. Well, Neil, of course, it, if you don't know who Neil is, go check him out. Neil's been kind of popping off on the YouTubes lately. Fantastic content creator. Very talented player. Uh, I think you're 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 going to be uh, hitting up the circuit this year, right? Yeah, San Diego first regional. Excited. Awesome. What are your what are your goals? Because I know that you have you hold yourself to a really high standard. So why don't you tell everyone what your goals are and what they can expect from you? Um, so basically, whenever I go into a tournament, uh, my focus is just on winning the whole thing. It usually doesn't happen, but it's it's nice to just maximize the result you get. Yeah, that's a. Uh, I, I feel like that is a true competitor's response, and uh, that's that's gonna be super fun, man. I'm super excited to meet you at San, San Diego. We've had so many Good interactions. Ne Neil's like one of my favorite VGC people, so it's gonna be wonderful to, to like hang out and uh, play against you in the finals. It'll be good. We'll get a Pinky Dome rematch Absolutely. in the finals of San Diego. Exactly, exactly. We need we need we need to get that. Yeah, we do. Before we jump into the game, quick lightning round. What's your favorite Gen 9 Pokemon? Hmm, let's see, Tinkaton. Ooh, I just played a bunch of games with Tinkaton. Cool. I was gonna lightning round, but I got distracted by Tinkaton and I don't have any more questions. So what are you gonna do with the twenty-five dollars that you win? Hmm, good question. I don't know. <laughs> He's gonna buy a mic, guys. That's uh it's going into the mic savings uh bank account. Yeah, I have not bought a mic yet. It was so funny because like I so I tweeted out that the video like the one the one of my videos got hundred thousand views and then um I think Justin Karras responded like bro you need to get a mic so I asked him for recommendations and he like took the time to actually search up and get links but I still haven't. It's okay. Well it's it's gonna be like the biggest like glow up at the beginning of twenty twenty three. It's gonna be like New Year's twenty twenty three. I got a Neil mic. Perfect. New year, new Neil. <laughs> no, because I never expected my YouTube to pop off, so I was literally just like, yeah, it's okay. That's fair, that's fair. But now here we are. You need a mic, but honestly, it doesn't sound too bad. We're, 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 we're making too much fun of Neil's mic. I'm excited, dude. I'm, I'm really pumped to, to play this game. Are you enjoying Gen 9? It's okay. I feel like I haven't done my footing yet, so... That's fair. Well, today's a good opportunity to do just that. So uh, true, let's, true. Let's, uh, let's, let's meet you on the battlefield, and uh, we'll talk to you after the games. Yes, for sure. So, Neil told me after I stopped recording the intro that uh, he's expecting me to bring Don Dozo, which is, uh, makes sense because I did just get top four in a tournament with Don Dozo. I'm not bringing Don Dozo. I am bringing a very different team. That's not what I'm bringing. <laughs> I am bringing this team. This is Oppo's team. Uh, Oppo is a player who is very, very solid. He does really, really well in online circuits. And this is a team that he put out as a rental, and it fits my playstyle quite well whoa oh my god whoa this is crazy so it's dragapult all right so i feel like this is actually a pretty okay matchup for me so rule edge goes kind of hard into this especially if i terastalize it um rota with covert cloak's kind of funny but yeah all right the hydragon's pretty good goggles is pretty nice it lets me just nuke the the dragapult down Potentially? Do I have Terra Steel? I have Terra Fire. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna go Amoongus Cerule Edge, I think. And then I want... No, this is a lie. I'm gonna go uh, Cerule Edge Grimmsnarl. I really like... Um... I actually don't really like that much of this, but we're gonna go Rotom and Goldingo in the back. I didn't have enough time to think that through. Hmm. I spent a lot of time there just being surprised at the Mons that he brought. I think it's finally time for me to lose a game here on Pengy Dome. At least one. Alright. So no follow me is really interesting here. Dragon Dance is expected. Did quite a lot of damage. Oh, 
I don't have Shadow Sneak on this Pokemon. Oh, that's so bad! Oh, I thought I had Shadow Sneak on this Cerule Edge. Oh my god. Well, that's not good, is it? I think he's got me already. This game. Oh my god, that actually did so much damage. Kind of crazy, not gonna lie. Alright. Dragon Darts. I have Reflect Up. I think I actually lived this. If it's Life Orb, he kills me, but then he dies. Oh my god, I do live. That's actually fire. I lived on five. Holy crap. It is Life Orb. Oh my god. It's actually really good for me. I have Light Screen Up. But I think I kill the Indeedee because I'm doubling it. But I think mm, the Indeedee is going to be faster than my than my uh, Grim. So I think... Hmm. What is it? Light, light screen. Is that enough HP? Oh, he gets me. Okay. Very interesting. Both of our carries went down. And both of our support mons are still alive. Uh, I still have... Yeah, I have some interesting stuff. He doesn't really have anything that loves the Rotom, does he? If I can get a Para with Discharge, I think I just win. Oh, I don't have Light Screen. Jesus Christ, what am I doing this game? I'm very... <laughs> I'm not playing great right now, but let's see. I don't have Discharge. Holy Christ, I just, like, don't remember what's on this team, do I? Is the Ndidi Psychic Seed? No, it's not. Okay, so the Ndidi can... I can take out the Ndidi here. Running setup, setup, setup. Makes sense. I'm not in an amazing spot here, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. But I can uh, at least like chip him with spirit break while offsetting quiver dance boosts. And it is 3v2. And I have screens. This is still very winnable. Neither of us has terastalized yet, which is interesting. Tauros is his last Pokemon, okay. Hmm. My Goldengo in the back really doesn't like this matchup right now. Tauros might be a B. I feel like this is the Volcarona. It's not. What? Okay, turn grass. Fair enough. Oh, he has Raging Bull. Right. He can break my screams. Oh, my God, dude. I'm in a lot of trouble. I'm in a lot of trouble. Okay. If I get a para here, we're kind of gaming. Decent damage. No para. Okay. Flame body is really annoying there. That is a low percent chance. What's up? Oh man, that actually yeah, the crit on the Rotom hurts me a lot there. That might be enough for him to KO me. If he has Terra Blast, it doesn't matter. Okay, if he has Terra Blast. Alright, yeah, we're gonna lose this game. You get a lot of information though. There's no reason for me to stay in. I don't want to show him specs. We're just going to concede. Alright, well played game one. 
I need to fix the way I approached that. I approached that very, 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 very wrong. I feel like Goldengo Rotom covers all of the options he has. Does he lead Dragapult with, like, Volcarona? He could. Heatwaves, Quiver Dance, Struggle Bug. Hmm. It could be Rage Powder. It could be Protect as the last, uh, the last move. All right, I kind of dig this. Let's see if this works. All righty, let's see. Game two. Electro Goldengo, okay. This is going to be... I, I'm going for a bit of a YOLO turn one, but... Such is the way of the closed team cheat. We are playing closed team cheats, by the way. I'm terastalizing here to stop foul play from killing me. Ooh, he actually just read it. Good read. It's probably game ending. Um, I mean, if I if I kill him, it's not. I'm pretty fast. Jesus. All right, so we trade Goldengo. I should heal myself almost to full here. Yeah, okay. He also went for a hard read there, but I have a Mogus now, which is very, very useful. Does he foul play me? He probably taunts the Amoongus, honestly. I'm going for a very hard read here. Okay. He's taunting me for sure. He doesn't know that I don't have a ghost move. Oh, he's going foul play. This is also super fine. I'm going to lose a little bit of HP here. He hurts me for about 100 every time he hits me. I heal for 87. I'm still in an awkward spot if he taunts my Amoongus. But he has to re... I think he has to terastalize the Dragapult at some point. Because he risks just dying to Shadow Sneak. Okay, he didn't taunt me. He's using Foul Flight. That's super fine. That's not going to kill the Amoongus. Shadow Sneak, I'd be gaming, but I don't have Shadow Sneak. I think I sack the Amoongus here. Because he only has Dragon Darts, that's not enough to one-hit KO my uh, Hydreigon. If he goes for a Dragon Dance here, it might be. But if he goes for a Dragon Dance... Okay, he phases. He dragon dance. If he Dragon Dances here, I think I just win. If he Dragon Darts, I don't. Haze was very good there. He probably has Phantom Force, which he could lock into here to dodge the Hydreigon. What if I tail him, though? That would be faster than the Murkrow. Ooh, I think this is actually kind of an interesting play. Huge, huge. I think I just won. Massive read. I don't know what his last Pokemon is, but it's 2v2 and I have a Tailwind up. 
I should just be able to nuke his Dragapult here. If I don't miss the Draco Meteor, I should be able to pick up the Dragapult for free. Volcarona. Okay. I, I have to... Mm, he has... He has not revealed Rage Powder. It's possible he doesn't have it. But I'm gonna Dark Pulse. That will one-shot the Dragapult for sure. And I think the Double Up should pick the Volcarona up. It's Steel. Okay, that's actually good that I Dark Pulse here. If I got a flinch here, that's gaming. Oh, I did double the Dragapult! Let's go! I low-key forgot! But we got him, boys! We got him! Okay, 1-1. One, one. We're not we're not losing this. We're not losing this. I don't think he has Rage Powder. Otherwise, he uses it there. I'm pretty sure there's no Rage Powder. Worth noting that his Goldengo is faster than my Goldengo as well. I'm not going to click Draco Meteor. I don't want to reveal it. Some people are not running Draco Meteor. They're actually running, um... Some people are running, um... Whatchamacallit? Uh, Dragon Pulse. I think... Don't do that. I think it's bad, but some people are. So I don't want to reveal my Draco Meteor. Volcarona is faster than Hydreigon if it's max speed, which is worth noting. I'm surprised he didn't go for the double there. I think this is the only way out. Quiver Dance, maybe? Alright, a crit on the Cerulege gets him there. Maybe. The fact that I'm weak to Struggle Bug is very awkward on my Terra-type. Woo-wee! We got him. Close game, my god. Regardless, we got him. 1-1. One, one. How the hell do I approach this game today? The fact that his Goldengo is faster than mine is really annoying. No Taurus Water, no Indeed Female here. The fact that I'm, the fact that I can, that I'm super effective against both of the Terra types that he's shown already, and also his Goldengo, which is probably Steel, is a very big deal. So even though I don't have Shadow Sneak, which makes this matchup a little bit more awkward, the fact that I hit so much stuff with Bitter Blade is great. The fact that he didn't show Taunt on Murkrow is interesting. Does he have it? I feel like at some point there, you would have taunted the Amoongus if you had it. Maybe it's like Snarl Tailwind in the last two slots? Because that's weird. I have a Mental Herb. Oh, I didn't even realize that. This is a rental that I've used before, but I used it on my 16-hour stream near the end, so I low-key forgot a bunch of this stuff. But uh, we have a Mental Herb, so Taunt wouldn't even work, which is quite nice. I think Amoongus is a pretty good lead with Cerulege. Or a Mogus Rotom, potentially. He doesn't have Fake Out, though, so the Covert Cloak on the Rotom's not that big of a deal. Although Struggle Bug doesn't work on Rotom. The downside is that I don't have... I don't have a... Whatchamacallit. Actually, is Hydreigon just the lead? Like, Hydreigon seems really good here, no? Uh, we do know that the, the Volcarona is faster than Hydreigon. Now, Volcarona is naturally faster than Hydreigon, but a lot of Hydreigons... Well, this Hydreigon is max speed, so we know that that's like max speed Volcarona. This is a very interesting lead. Terra Fire here on my Amoongus, that would be very unexpected. But I don't think the Volcarona can kill me. 
I don't think the double up could kill me either. It's like the Volcarona is max speed. It's also running Heat Wave. Uh, I mean, I guess the like, Heat Wave is actually pretty strong. But like, I am pretty bulky. Well, YOLO. Let's see what happens. Oh, shit. Is it the Tauros? No, it's not. Okay. Also, Grass. I called right. Oh, my God. I got so lucky that he targeted that one. So, I hit four Terra types on this. Or four, I, I, I have so much stuff on this team. So Quiver Dance. Okay. I have clear smog as well, which is neat. I think I Terra Fire here to make sure I don't die, and then I can just clear smog him, which is kind of neat. Oh, I can also switch in my Cerulege for a boost. Or do I just do that? Because I'm in Tailwind now. I can just switch into Cerulege. Yeah, I think this is better. Because I want to Terra Grass my Cerulege, I think, so that I'm not weak to the Dragapult and also potentially the Goldengo. Oh, also, I have Heat Wave on my Dragon. I can just look at this. Low key. That's solid damage into the Volcarona. And we get the boost now. This is huge. This is gigantic. He crit the Hydreigon, but it's a little good for him. Ah, no, he didn't. Okay. Burn. I think that's AV Tauros. This is far from over. If he reads this and uses Struggle Bug, that's a little annoying. This should remove the Tauros, though. Okay. Especially with additional chip from the Heat Wave. Tell me this works. I'm not convinced this will kill. This thing's pretty bulky. Okay, we're good. I also have the, the flash fire boost, remember, on my Cerule Edge, which is pretty huge. Indeed, he comes out. Interesting. I think I one-shot the Indeedee, I'm not going to lie, but I'm going to target the Volcarona. This forces him to um, follow me, which will remove the Indeedee, even if it's Sash. That's why I'm clicking uh, Heat Wave here, just in case it's Sash. Not to mention, if I do crit the Volcarona, it's dead. Oh, nice. If I burn the Volcarona, that's also me. Pokemon comes in. Faster than my... Oh, that's a crit on my Sewer Ledge. That's a gigantic deal. I'm going to heal myself up quite a lot, but if I would have been full HP if he didn't hurt me, but instead, I'm going to be like 50%, and I might be dead to another Struggle Bug. That's actually a gigantic deal. Because this is the last turn of my Tailwind as well. Yeah, that's a really, really bad crit for me. Um, a lot depends on what his last Pokemon is. Like, Struggle Bug will not, like, a moon, like he, he just Struggle Bugs for the rest of the game, surely. Like, I don't really know how I deal with this now. But, like, Struggle Bug isn't going to kill my... Okay, let's see. The crit was 160. Bro, I think... I think I'm dead to crit. I'm, like, actually pretty sure that I'm dead to crit. That's really bad. Woof. But Struggle Bug into Amoongus is neutral? If he Struggle Bugs and I Spore him, that's really good. All right, Amoongus at least forces... 
a weird situation here. Have I revealed Protect on Super Ledge? I don't think I have, actually. The Volcarona is faster than the Dragapult now, which is also scary. Heat Wave? Uh, I, okay, I'm gonna make a call here. I'm gonna make a call. I'm making a call that Struggle Bug doesn't kill me. I, it might be a roll. Like, or he protects, or, or he reads the protect. Yes! So I, I thought he might read the protect there, in which case, this is his best way out. Oh my god, he got the Amelius kill. Oh my god, he actually killed my Amelius. Am I dead? Do I lose? I'm, I think I lose. I lost to the crit. The crit killed me. What's that Amulus roll, man? Are you kidding me? How did the Amulus die? My Amoongus is, like, a pretty bulky spadef. Oh, man. Well, the win streak had to end eventually. GG's to Neil. Cool team. I like the team. Let's go talk to him and see what he thought of the set. GG's, Neil. Well played. That was fun. GG's. Uh, we were talking a little bit before the call. The tech, though. Charcoal Volcarona. That's yeah. pretty neat. Dude, it's so nice. Because, like, <laughs> I was running bulky QD. But the thing about bulky QD is Hydreigon just attacks you first anyway. So if you're able to mm -hmm. struggle bug before they attack you, you actually have more bulk than if you just go fully bulky. And For I was sure. like, I want to play Tailwind. So why don't I just put on Charcoal and I don't have to click Quiver Dance, but I can just set up Tailwind and Charcoal Heat Waves to sweep with Pult. Yeah, so that, actually really nice. that end game as well. I'm just sitting there. I'm like, okay, like my Amoongus should like, if, even if he's max special attack, I know he's max speed. So he's not modest. So like, this is like unfavorable for him. Like guarantee, like I'm, I'm going to be fine. And then it just dies. I'm like, no shot. Charcoal tech, what? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I showed my friends charcoal Volcarona and they were like, what, what is this? This makes no sense. Yeah. That was a that was a really interesting approach to game three as well, bringing out the Tauros with it. I was uh, I I felt really good going into game three because I'm like, oh, every Terra type that's been revealed, I one shot. Like a Goldengo is probably Steel. I one shot that. That's great. And then he revealed Volcarona Grass. I'm like, oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> and then I realized yeah. I was at a I, I saw the AV from the damage rolls, and I was like. Oh no, I have to Terra Grass to kill this thing in front of a plus one struggle bugging Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Dude, okay, so my logic in game three was game two, I could have gone screwed by Amoongus. Mm -hmm. Right? So in game three, I was like, okay, I'm going to leave Taurus plus Volcarona, not with the intention to sweep, but rather just to like chip things. So Ndidi plus Pult in the late game can just redirect. Ndidi should live enough times, and then Pult just clicks D Darts and it should sweep. Yeah, I mean, it's a really cool team, you know? I think uh, Tauros Water is one of those Pokemon that I think is really being slept on a little bit right now. And I think your team is, like, really, really good at kind of, uh, you know, exemplifying all of the things that it does well. Especially with that, um, with the Assault Vest. It's just so hard to remove that thing from the field. Right? And, like, Terra Grass is perfect, because one of the few things that beats us is Rotom or Amoongus. Yeah, exactly. And having Terra Blast on that, like, Tauros has really, really high attack stat as well. So, like, you're just going to delete things like Rotom. So... Right. Oh, so mm -hmm. good. Like, it makes your it makes your Tailwind team better because, one, you get defensive pressure just in terms of Intimidate. And I have Light Screen on my NDD too. So, I have, like, both ends. And then also Breaking Screens versus, like, Screens teams is so good for Yeah. Yourself. Yeah. I, I, I was, like, playing that first game. And I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Doesn't this thing get a move that breaks screens? That's not great for me, is it? <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. I was like, I was like, this is perfect. Like, dude, Tor Tauros was the addition. Actually, okay. So how I came up with Tauros on this team was I did a coaching session with some, like one of the Taiwanese players. And I was like, we were building like Dragapult plus Tailwind because he was like, I want Tailwind, but I want to outpace other Tailwind. And I was like, okay, let's use Pult. And then I was like, wait, Pult can't really win if I can't break screens. And then he was like, wait, Tauros is a cool Pokemon he wanted to try. So then we built around Tauros, and then the team that we built, basically, I, like, edited it a lot and tested it, and then I ended up with this, so. That's super fun, man. I think uh, one of the things that's really, really cool about your channel as well is that you're just kind of one of those guys who just builds crazy Pokemon and, like, does really, really well with them consistently. So uh, if that's something that my viewers like, go over to Neil's channel, give him a sub. Even if that's not what you like, go over to Neil's channel and give him a sub. He just earned it.
He's he has earned his additional subscribers. And and if you guys are coming from my end to watch Pengy, definitely definitely sub to him. Man's entertaining. Like I watch his content, so like you guys know. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> And uh, who knows, maybe we'll do some more collab, st uh, collab stuff in the future. We've done one in the past. This is uh, the second time now. And uh, it's always a good time. Three. Yeah, once once the genies and Ursaluna come in, we got we got to get another one. <laughs> we got to do an enamorous video. Right? Yes, yes. Dude, I need to get <laughs> one with you, and I need to get one with Marco once all that comes back. <laughs> that sounds good. That sounds good. Well, once again, uh, why don't you let people know where they can find you? I'm going to put it on screen as well. Yeah, for sure. So I make content over on YouTube and also, um, what else do I do? Oh no, only YouTube. Yeah, just check me out on YouTube and like, wait, that's it. Okay, yeah, that's it. Go to Neil's YouTube, <laughs> I don't have do it. Else to act on. <laughs> It'll be in the description as well. So make sure that you check that out. Thanks so much for coming on, Neil. The first person to take me down to the Pengy Dome. Uh, and uh, enjoy enjoy the, the new mic that $25 will buy you. <laughs> exactly. All right, perfect. Bye-bye, viewers. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye-bye.